Years ago, Bill Skirmerhorn and his wife were at the beach, and they watched what happened to umbrellas as the wind picked up. This is a safety thing. This is a dangerous thing on the beach when you have umbrellas flying around on the beach. Just a few months ago, in early June, it happened in Virginia Beach. A woman was killed by an umbrella. The sharp point designed to stick into the sand struck her in the torso. Skirmerhorn's company, Beach Bub USA, solved the problem by designing a base that fills with sand, more than 100 pounds to keep it secure. When they designed the whole system, they had two criteria. Number one, the umbrella had to be able to stand up to 35 mile per hour winds. And number two, the whole thing could only weigh nine pounds. Some communities like Myrtle Beach have even banned larger pop-up tents during the busy summer season. It's only umbrellas. It's single pole has to be, and it cannot be tethered in any way. So this is perfect. This is, this is perfect for what they're looking for. It's all safety oriented. Beach Bub launched just a couple of years ago, and they have watched their business explode. They're on track to do more than a million dollars in sales this year, so the triad with easy access to the FedEx hub is the perfect location. It's important to have good shipping because if somebody's planning their weekend it's Monday and they're going to be leaving Friday they want to make sure they get their product. It costs more than a bargain umbrella but people who've had three or four of those break over the years understand. There is a better way. We call this, we like to think of this as the seat belt for the beach. This is, this is as that extra precaution to prevent your umbrella from you know leaving your possession from flying down the beach. Beach Bub customers say they used to spend the day holding onto their umbrella. Now they're able to relax and enjoy a day at the coast. And that is priceless. In Greensboro, Brad Jones, Fox 8 News.